What is going on everybody? David here from Blooker's Videos and Toys and today we are going to be taking a look at the Lost World Jurassic Park Dino Adventures Tracker Set or Dino Trackers Adventure Set should I say <laughs> which was uh, released in 1997 by Kenner and I had the opportunity back in 2021 to purchase the set from my good friend and fellow YouTuber Nick Holstetter and um he was getting rid of some things at the time, and he knew that I had been wanting and had been looking for this set for quite some time. And uh, he gave me a pretty good deal on this and uh, was able to obtain it from him. So Nick, I really do appreciate that. And um, although it's not 100% complete, the only thing that's missing is the net and the, the tags for both the Scootasaurs and the Estamalasuchus. Um, <clears throat> very happy to have this set. It, it pretty much is a, 100% a complete loose as you can get, you know. I know there are some out there, but to be to, to not have the tags and the net launcher, it's, uh, it's pretty hard to come by, you know. So you're lucky if you're able to get this set pretty loose, 100% complete. I know there are some that are out there, but it, it's very hard to, to get. And most people that have this set, don't have all the things that you see that in front of you. Um, usually, mostly they're missing the dino damage or missing the tags or the capture gear. You know, all kinds of stuff. There's, there's always going to be something, but most mostly it's usually the tags or the the dino damage. You know, but anyways. Um, but like I said, I'm very happy to have this set in the collection because it's been one of the sets that I've been wanting in my vintage uh, Jurassic Park collection for quite some time and finally was able to to get it at the time and um and now here we are we're about to review this thing so anyways so what you have in front of you is two dinosaurs a uh, park ranger and loads of accessories and a lot of these are pretty much uh, reused accessories from previous figures and and um <clears throat> We'll, uh, excuse me, we'll, uh, compare them to the originals that came out, you know, for, for this particular, uh, line. So anyways, so let's go ahead and remove the dinos, because we'll take a look at these last, and, uh, we'll just take a look at the human figure first. So this is the uh, the Dino Tracker guy that came in the set. Doesn't have a name or anything, but um, a lot of this stuff is pretty much a, a remold or a reuse. And the only thing that's different is probably the head. I think it might have been used at a, on another set. I'm not quite sure. And if it was, I believe it was reused for the. 1999 uh, JP Dinosaurs line. I could be wrong, but um, this this might be the only time that this uh, head sculpt might have been used. But I'm pretty sure that somebody will correct me, and please do, you know, because sometimes I don't always get my information correct, you know, or I think I know, but I really don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's pretty much your standard park ranger guy, you know. And um, this is like your basic four inch figure. And uh, pretty good sculpt, you know, paint on the eyes, eyebrows, the hair, and the hat. You even got the Jurassic Park logo right there. And then here, you got the suit. And uh, for a while, I didn't think this was like uh, a shirt underneath. I thought it was like his skin. And, <laughs> and I was like, why is his skin looking like this? But it is actually his shirt. And um, got the JP tag right there. And then you got this hockey looking thing, glove looking thing, whatever you want to call it, you know. But I think this is just to protect your arm just in case if a dinosaur decides to bite you. I'm assuming that's what it's for. <laughs> but I'm surprised that they was able to paint the uh, arm here the same color as this. Normally this would just be a solid green, you know. But uh, it makes sense because it's gloves right there and then this thing is green. Uh, the texturing over there, here, arm and caught in the collar. And uh, you got the uh, walkie-talkie in the back. 
and you got the texturing here on the back right there and then on the legs and then you have this little weird odd looking thing I think somebody in one review that reviewed the set um, called it a TV screen <laughs> which really which really does look like a TV screen why they put it like that I have no idea <laughs> but um <clears throat> but yeah nice texturing in the legs and pants <clears throat> excuse me and then here in the back of the legs right there and uh, you got a knife that was molded in right there the boots so overall good looking figure and so um this was actually a remold of the Alan Grant from Series 2 from the first Jurassic Park uh, toy line that we got. And you can tell it's pretty much the same. The body and everything, you know. The only difference is the uh, the paint. You know, he's got the the silver chain, chain nail. I guess you, you could say it's chain nail, you know. It's pretty much the same thing in the back. So, the only thing that's different is the head. The head sculpt. So, pretty much everything's pretty much identical. As far as uh, the body mold goes. So, very cool. And so, some of the accessories that it came with. Is one, we got the net launcher. So, it was molded in this particular colored plastic. And for some reason, for some odd reason, it doesn't have the little clip right here where you can like fold this down and put a latch on there. It latches in so it can hold steady and then you can flick it and then it'll just go like that. So this, this part will always be up. So there is no mechanism to where it will actually clip in. So <clears throat> if I bring out the original net launcher that the uh, Series 1 Allen Grant came with. It's, it's the exact same thing. You know, same detail and all. You know, just a different color. And the only thing I don't have is the net for this. It will, it will come with the, the little the net where it holds it. It will come with this color. So, but um, still looking for that. And um, you see how this one has a clip right there? So, if you just flick that, that flicks up. But, you know, that piece is missing on here. So, and the odd thing is, I know they released another Dino Trackers set for the JP3 line. Using the same molds and same accessories and everything. Um, and that net launcher that came with the Dino Tracker... Uh, Pretty much has this clip part on here, but for some reason this one didn't. I I don't I don't know why. <laughs> I just thought that was a little weird, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's the only thing that's downside about this. And this doesn't have a a clip, you know. So this will always be up. So then here is the. Uh, the stun gun or the stun stick or cattle prod and this is the same thing that came with uh, the series 2 Alan Grant you know pretty much almost the same mold this might be a little bit lighter or just maybe the lighting that's uh, making it look like that but it's pretty much the same thing <clears throat> and then it came also came with a, a bola blaster and uh this is the same thing that was used for the Series 2 uh, Alan Grant. The only thing different is just the molding of the color. You know, and this one doesn't have the string like this one does. So, but pretty much the same thing, exact same thing. Same mold and everything. So, and then. <clears throat> Last but not least, the last accessory is these uh, little bomb thingamajig that it came with. And this is pretty much the same thing that the Series 1 uh, Alan Grant has, but in a different colored mold, in a different color. So 
So a lot of a lot of reused parts on this thing. So but comes with loads of accessories. And also yeah, like I said, the only downside is it doesn't have that clip right there. So but yeah, that's the little park ranger and all of his accessories that you have options you can switch to play with, you know. And also just to if you want to use this with it, you know, all you gotta do is just stick this right here so it can stand up right there. And uh just clip this over him and there you go. You can use that. Pretty cool. And then of course, you know, you just this backpack, you can just slip it over him. Let me see if I can open that up. Sometimes you gotta be careful with these things because sometimes these uh plastic can, can rip. So you basically just put it over there and just clip it. So it looks a little weird when he doesn't have that thing down. So I guess if you want to have it down, you could just put a piece of tape around it, <laughs> you know, just to hold it down. But uh, yeah, the only thing I'm missing is is the net, you know. But I'll, I'll probably sure I'll find one eventually. So yeah, that's the Park Ranger with all of his uh, accessories. So let's go ahead and move this guy and his stuff out the way. And we'll bring in one of the dinosaurs we can look at. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and bring both of them in. So, so for those that may not know, you know, these two were originally supposed to be released for the Series 2 line for the Jurassic Park line that Kenner did. And, um... You could tell in one of the packaging of the Series 2 that they did have them, the prototype images, you know, saying that these will be available as part of the uh, Series 2 line. But that never happened, and so finally we got them, and uh, the this uh, particular set, the, um, the Dino Trackers Adventure set. So even though we didn't get them in Series 2 for the Jurassic Park line, at least we got them in uh, the... Lost World Jurassic Park line that Kenner did. So very happy that we finally that we actually did get them eventually. May not have been the colors that you know that showed, but even then, even on the uh, the original Dino Trackers Adventure set box, that the colors were a whole lot different compared to this. So this is they just pretty much scrapped the the paint scheme that they from the original release to the one that they have on the box art to the, the a plain Jane color, you know, so this is all one solid color. So probably just to save money, you know, didn't want to take the time to paint it the way that it looks. But anyways, so we got the Scutosaurus and the Estomonosuchus. And um <clears throat> we'll go ahead and move Esto at the at the way. So this is the Scutosaurus and um really like to sculpt very beefy figure but he's very hollow you know it's very he's not heavy he's beefy looking but he's not heavy at all you know it's very hollow but i do like the sculpt I do like the uh texturing so you could tell that is a scutosaurus it may not be the exact body style that it's supposed to look but the head sculpt is pretty much on point and uh it's got the two large tusks down here uh this is pretty much what an Estamonis, uh, not an Estamonosuchus, but a Scutosaurus looks like, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you can tell it's casted in this uh, moldy green <laughs> plastic, and then it was spray painted at the bottom. I do like how they have the wrinkling all the way at the bottom and stuff, and all the uh, osteoderms all throughout the body, neck. You know, you can tell he's got someone here on the side of the face. And then, you know, the eyes on point. Got the yellow eyes with the black slits. You know, and they painted the, the tusks here at the bottom. And no feet on, no paint on the feet. So, then, over here on the side, 
you got this muscle texture in here on the side right there as compared over here it's just pretty much plain there really isn't a whole lot of definition except for right there it's more so on this side just because of the way the, the feet are standing so the feet are not as overly textured as the body is you know you do got a lot of lines or wrinkles here and then here's the dino damage right there so shows the rib cage now, a lot of times these are lost so and then for the action feature well, as far as the uh, articulation it's just simple forwards and backwards you know and then as far as the action feature goes you pull back on this leg and it's tusks slash down on its uh, uh, victim or attacker so and that's about it and as far as the capture gear goes take this piece right here just slide it in right there and then here you take this clip and, and the thing is these these capture gears or the plastic they use for this is very flimsy very flexible you know so they won't really break apart like they would during like the first series of Jurassic Park toys and stuff those were a little bit more stiffer the plastic a little bit more harder but this the plastic on these are just a little bit flimsy and flexible you know so they won't break on you as easily as the others would so <clears throat> so that's what it looks like the only thing is missing is a little tag and so I did was able to get another one at my local movie trading company minus the capture gear and all that in the, the piece but I saw it there and it's by itself and I had to bring it home with me so I'm very happy to have that I think I got this back in 2021 too as well or no I think I picked this up in 2022 because I did make a, a birthday run back in January 2022 and I, and I found this one at my local movie trading company and had to snag it along with the uh, electronic uh, spinosaurus so all right so move this guy out the way and we'll bring in the estamanasuchus so and remember these aren't uh, dinosaurs these are pretty much uh, uh, mammal like reptiles you know and so this in Estamanosuchus is pretty uh pretty funny looking as far as this head sculpt's real goofy looking, you know. So this is a very interesting paint scheme that it gave it, you know. A very unique body style, like a log. This one's a little bit more this one's a little bit more heavier than that. This one isn't as hollow as that, so you could tell that this has a little weight to it. So, <clears throat> as far as the head sculpt goes, like I said, it's very goofy looking, you know, but I love it. Yellow eyes with the black slits right there, nice texturing detail, you know. So, they pretty much, except for the teeth and the horn right here, pretty much gave it all the solid same color with a little bit of black highlights to it. So... Like I said, it looks like a log <laughs> with legs. So the tail's all curved right there. So really isn't much to really go over like the uh, Scutosaurs because the detailing isn't all that. It's just a bunch of lines. Looks like just got a bunch of lines, you know. But as far as the um, articulation, just forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. This one's a little stiffer. You know, yeah, forwards and backwards. And then here is the battle damage right there. The little spine right there. So, we did see a little bit of the action feature. So, push back on that hind leg right there, and it just like swings its head back and forth. Like it's saying no. So. Very interesting gimmick right there. 
So as far as the capture gear goes, you just take this piece right there. Like I said, it's a little flimsy. And you just slide it across right there. So it blinds the dinosaur and covers its mouth and horn. And then here, you just take a, this, like I said, it's, it's soft, pliable plastic. So you won't have to really have to worry about or stressing yourself over if you're going to break it or not if you apply it to the, the figure. So, so that's what they look like when it's captured, you know. So, let's go ahead and bring in the human again with all his accessories. So, yeah, so that's the end of the review of this set. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this review as much as I did reviewing it. And uh, hopefully, I'll eventually will get the, the two tags and uh, the net that goes with the this, this set. You know, very hard to come by. Won't be easy. But I'm pretty sure I will eventually get them one day. You know. And I also would like to get the other Dino Tracker Adventure set that um, was released in the JP3 line. You know, that would be a fun set to review. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this review as much as I did filming it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this set. And don't forget, where's the wisdom? Buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.